first heard these was called the Jubilees, we was thinking. <laughs> Probably not, man, but uh, I was wondering, where did the Jubilee name come from? Um, but actually, it's the 25th anniversary of the first sketch of the iconic Jordan 11. And I know this is pretty much one of eight of ten people's favorite Jordan silhouette. Um, on mine is top five. Not the favorite, but definitely top five. So we're going to get into this early review. <laughs> things of that nature. Let's get it. Yes, sir. So as I told y'all previously that this is the 25th anniversary of the Jordan 11. Jordan's been going, making us go crazy over Jordan 11's every holiday season for the past 10 years, I could believe. Um, to be honest, when it comes to black Jordan 11s, I'm really like up in the air. I own the Space Jams. I did own the Cap and Gowns. That was also another early review. But I got rid of the Cap and Gowns, didn't even wear them. The Space Jams I wore them, you know, the iconic, the, sh the movie, things of that nature. But this pair right here is put together. I remember when we first seen pictures of this uh this sneaker here, we were like, are they women's? Like no one was filling the tabs. This is a clean shoe, man. So um enough long talking. Let's get into the review. Hit the music. Unboxing time. Yes, sir. Now, if you watch the channel, y'all know I'm a big fan of presentation. And finally, we got a nice presentation box. But honestly, with the Jordan 11, Jordan somewhat always switches it up every holiday season. I'm not going to lie. Um, the Jordan 11 was the first time we saw the, the plastic numeral letter Jordan 11 on it, and then, you know, things of that nature. One of the first times we saw the pull-out box. So Jordan 11 has been known to give us presentational boxes. But this one right here opens up like a gift. Dope, man. We even got some new paper here. Let y'all check this new paper out. Um, the silver accents and it reads 1995 to 2020. I mean, I don't think you got to be a mathematician to know that's 25 years. And uh, let's get into the shoe. Wait, is it this way. All right, we got it. Before we get into the shoe, I know all my Supreme heads I've been lacking out there, man, not showing y'all everything I've been getting from the Supreme drops, but I've been killing it with these early reviews. Last week, I wasn't really feeling nothing, so as I told y'all, if you're not feeling nothing, go with the accessory. So here, I went with the accessory. And it's a nice, dope. Handy dandy supreme knife. So you know you use these to cut up and do all your unboxing. Very dope handle, sturdy. Um, I believe it's wood grain. I think it's made for fishing, but we're gonna use it to open boxes. Now back to the unbox. Give y'all 360 view. Check out all the chrome accents on the sneaker. This one definitely makes the patent leather pop all the time is when Jordan adds the chrome accents, accents on the sneaker. So, I mean, honestly, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but if you've seen one Jordan 11, you've seen them all. 
that's why the shoe tab chrome accents but they're not really chrome they look chrome in pictures and video but they're more like a reflectiveness you know like when you see like on a on a mountain bike you know dirt bike bmx the light hits it and you know it pops off it's not really a chrome accent even though it does have some kind of sturdiness to it and it reads jordan i want to say but the font is like so different that you can hardly tell what it's saying. I mean, I see a J, I see a O, I see everything but an R. In that comment section below, let me know what y'all think about the new shoelace accents. Your bottom, of course, all patent leather, nothing we never seen before. It does seem a little more glossier than before, but new patent leather always has that trick. High cut, we love our Jordan 11's high cut. Well, I do. <laughs> and right there, you have a nice size chrome jump man. The back, of course, reads 2 3 in that same font on the ass accents of the uh, shoe string. Got your 2 3 there. High up, but like I said, um. I want to say leather, not the best of leather, but definitely not the worst. Sturdy. The bottom has an iconic white foam looking that we know in this spec on the Jordan 11. The outside, I was hoping they did like they've been doing lately with like the fluorescent um, on the bottom. But right here is just like a, a kind of off-white, a sandy white. A cell white, you know, that's Jordan's favorite color when it comes to white. Cell white on the bottom. That goes all the way down there. Got your gray accents here, I guess, to play off the chrome. And, of course, in the inside, will be a Jordan 11 without that domino checker effect in the insole. Okay, one thing I was a little bummed out about because Jordan kind of spoiled us with the Jordan 11 and giving us those plastic, colorful shoe trees. These ones have your regular Jordan shoe tree. I mean, it still does the job, but I remember Jordan 11 lately has been giving us the baby blue I had for the Columbias. I had the red for the breads. I had the dark blue for the Space Jams. So this is kind of a bummer. Not a buzzkill. But a bummer. The insole. It's just an all black insole. Hold on, let's get this right. All black insole with a jump man on it. Now the honest truth, man, just these being the 25th anniversary is enough for me to keep these on my in my collection. Very clean shoe, but like I told you, I have Concords, I have Space Jams, I got rid of my cap and gown, black cats, whatever you call them. So to add another black and white sneaker in my collection to rock, it's going to be hard, man. But to me, these are a trophy piece, it signifies success, 25 years, um, that's crazy, man. Um, in my comment section below, let me know if you are happy, if you are lucky enough to cop. I got these straight off the sneakers app, um, early access situation, shock drops. Let me know what's better, shock drops, early access, or drawers. Shock drops, in my opinion, are better if you have the right shoe tubers or the right community telling you when it's going to happen. And one of those is me. Whenever I know of a shock drop, I told y'all these were releasing. I didn't know the time, but I knew the afternoon. I told you guys. I hope you guys were able to cop. Um, like I said, if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. A lot of information here, man. A lot of giveaways. So hit subscribe right now so I can help you be the best YouTuber, best collector, best sneaker collector, best sneaker reseller. Whatever you want to do with sneakers, the info is here. So again, this is an early review of the Jordan 11 Jubilees. What's so wrong with being a mutant anyway?
No, not that Jubilee. Jubilees and um my opinion of Dope Shoe, man. I, I just don't think we haven't seen it before, you know, besides the eyelids. We have seen this a couple of times, but that doesn't take away the nostalgic and the 25 years of Jordan brand, man. Everybody get rich.